All right, what's up, y'all? Um, so in this one, we're going to look at loaders, um, which is probably one of the main features of Webpack. Um, we're not going to do anything crazy again, but um, explain everything. Um, and you know, you pretty much once you understand loaders, you just repeat it for you know any kind of uh, functionality you you need for to handle any different file types. Um, so. What we're going to be doing is just using Babel to transform our JavaScript from um, ES2015 um, to just regular ES5, okay? Um, and probably, I figured most people would probably be doing this, whether you're using React or not. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people are writing in ES2015 now, um, so it just makes sense. So without further ado, we're in our Webpack config here. Um, and we're going to add, um, module. Okay. Oops. All right. Module is an object. Um, there's a whole bunch of other properties that you can use. Um, we're not going to be using them, um, for the basics. Um, but you can read up on those. Um, and the other thing with Webpack too, it's like, once you understand like the main functionality of it, I feel like the docs are actually way easier to understand. Um, but that's probably the case for, for most libraries, right? So, um, next thing we're going to do is, so the, the main thing we're going to be using on module here is loaders, right? And loaders is an array of loaders and, uh, each loader is an object. Okay. And we're going to talk about what um, the settings are on each loader um, and how to configure them. Um, and the first thing we need to do is install our loader. Um, now, Babel is a little confusing. I'll give you that because um, Babel has recently broken out everything into like their own separate um, modules. So you do have to install a couple of things here, but it's actually pretty straightforward on their website. If you go to setup um, and choose Webpack, it's actually pretty straightforward. So what we're gonna need at very minimum here is, as you can see, MPMI, we're gonna do shorthand here, capital dash capital S or capital D, sorry. And we need Babel dash loader and Babel core, All right? Babel loader is specifically for Webpack. Babel core is just straight up Babel. Um, so we're waiting for those install. Cool. Um, so now the other thing, we, and as, as you can see, it shows you right here pretty much what you need to write. Um, but the other thing we will need um, is Babel's not really going to do anything for us out of the box. So we do have to go ahead and install um, npm i dash d Babel dash preset dash es 2015 okay that'll give us um or rather that'll give babel all the modules it needs to correctly um transpile e, uh, es 2015 code okay otherwise it's not going to do anything so all right so in our loader here there's a couple of apis that we have available to us um the first one that you're going to need to set is the test okay um, and so what test does is it basically tells Webpack, okay, uh, what, when should I use this loader? Okay. What, um, qualifies, um, a file for a loader? Because as far as Webpack knows, it'll, any file that you require in your code, it'll run through all the loaders unless you tell otherwise, right? So you need to. Um, or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it won't run through any loaders. Either way, <laughs> you need to tell it what file types to handle. And the way we do this is with a regular expression. Um, you can put other things in here. Um, like I think you can put functions in here that return true or false. Um, but basically the easiest thing to do is just use regex. Um, if you're not familiar with regular expressions, I suggest you get familiar with them. They're very helpful. Um, but basically, um, you start and close with a forward slash. So there's that. And we're going to write our expression in between. And basically, um, the dot is for the file extension, right? And to escape, um, we have to escape it in a regular expression, the dot. So we're going to put that period there. And um, basically, there you want to write the file extension that will apply to this loader. So basically, what we're saying here is, okay, 
any file with a JS extension, we are going to run through this loader, okay? And to be safe, if you put a dollar sign, what that means is that um, the .js has to be at the end of the file. So the only way, um, when it goes through your files, the only way it'll use um, the file in this loader is if it ends, if the file name ends with the characters .js, okay? Um, so again, if that didn't totally make sense, it, um, I would suggest reviewing like regular expressions, but basically this is regex. Um, if the file name meets this condition, it'll uh, return true and therefore it'll run it through this loader. Okay, so the next thing, um, obviously we need to tell uh, Webpack what loader to use, right? So um, the name of the loader, um, technically it's Babel Loader. Um, and that's just, you know, we've installed Babel Loader. So, um, you know, if you install the CSS loader, um, or actually that's built in maybe, I think. Um, but if you install like a Jade loader or whatever, so usually you, you they're um, named with dash loader. Webpack is smart enough that if you just it, type the, the regular name, it'll, it should find it correctly. If it doesn't, you can always just put dash loader, but <clears throat> you can just put Babel here and it'll still work. Um, and then the next thing is, um, so we do want to tell um, Webpack what to, uh, what directories to use, okay? And there's two ways of doing that. You can do include and you can do exclude, okay? Um, and it's just as they sound. So um, include means that um, Webpack will only run this loader on files in this directory. And um, exclude means that Webpack will not run this loader on files in this directory. So you can see like in the um, Babel documentation, it's um, another regular expression of node modules. So what this is basically saying is like, okay, don't any JavaScript files you find in your node modules do not run through Babel, um, which makes sense. Cause obviously, you know, there's lots of files in your node modules that you don't want to transpile obviously. So you want to exclude those, um, but also a safer way well, it's not necessarily safer, but it just makes more sense in general. And also on the Webpack documentation, it does say you should prefer to use this. So that's what I do. Um, but basically, um, it's saying here, um, anything in the source, only include those files in the source. Okay. Um, so we know for a fact that all of our entry points and it's, dependencies are going to be in here um, or rather that the only files we want to go through this loader are going to be in this folder so we might as well put that in here okay so it'll only run um, this loader on JS files in this directory make sense cool and uh, that's pretty much it you could also instead of putting that here um, you could also do something like this and just actually write the directory name like we have up above, right? It's the same thing. Um, cool. So now that we've got that, we're not quite done yet. Again, Babel is a little bit more complicated than just a regular loader. Most loaders are pretty much just like that, plug and play. So um, you can see we already installed the preset. Um, you actually need to configure Babel to use that preset. Um, you can pass it in here as a uh, <clears throat> as a query. Um, so you do something like query, query, and then I think it's like preset, yes, yes, 2015, something like that. But I don't know why. Um, I've had troubles in the past, um, so I prefer to actually just put it in here. And actually, if you check out what Babel says, they actually tell you to put it in a .babelrc configuration file, which will totally work too. Um, but if you actually read through the Babel docs, um, you can either make a .babelrc file, or you can place this 
in your package JSON. And the only reason I really prefer to put it in the package JSON is so I don't need to make another file. Um, so basically if you do this, you just, in your package JSON, you make a key called Babel and you paste basically what you have there. So this will set up Babel for you. Um, and if you have any other presets in here, so for example, if you're using React, you need the React preset, you would just add that in here, just, you know, just like that. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I think that we're good on that. So let's see here, let's see if it all works. So remember we have npm start. And we compiled successfully, so that's that went all well. So um, let's see here, just for um, so I don't actually don't have any code in there that would be babbly. So let's actually do that. So let's say um, import import string from right, okay, and then in string. We could say export default string, okay? And you see, um, I'm in watch mode again, if you remember, so the it uh, <laughs> compiled it on the fly there. And yeah, so that means it's working. Let's just double check here. Yeah, it's working. Um, we would probably would have gotten an error here if it didn't work because since we're messing with export and import, um, you know, it doesn't know what to do. So actually, let's just for fun go in here. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, this um, this here, remember this was import. Um, this was just, uh, whatchamacallit, this was uh, just uh, babble. Um, transpiling this for us so it would work in environments that do not support ES2015. So there you go. So that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. Like I said, you can get more crazy with it um, and you can also install more loaders, but basically it's all the same thing. So like if I was going to do, uh, you know, CSS, right? It'd be the same thing. What kind of files do I want? CSS files. Right. What loader am I going to use? I'm going to use CSS loader. OK. Um, and uh, same kind of thing, path.join. Um, uh, whatever file it is that you're, you know, you have your CSS in. OK. Um, if you're if you're the kind of person who puts it in a separate folder, um, you know, pointed towards there. Um, otherwise, if you have it embedded maybe like within your components or something you can you know leave it as this directory or whatever okay so cool so in that hopefully that makes sense to y'all in the next one um we're gonna set up um babel runtime real quick um it's not that important but um since we're I figured since we're talking about babel and we're breaking things down uh might as well go over that real quick too okay thanks